Hi guys and welcome back to my noodle series. Okay, so in today's video we are going to be discussing the North Node within the sign of Sagittarius, meaning that if you have your North Node in the sign of Sagittarius, your South Node is in the sign of Gemini. Now, first and foremost, for more information all about the nodes within astrology, then please be sure to check out my introduction video. And I would also like you to keep in mind that the nodes are strongly connected with karma and past lives. And for the purpose of this series, I will be addressing them as so. Now, I'm going to be explaining these placements rather directly, but please don't take everything I say as truth or set in stone and if you don't believe in past lives then just look at your south node as your younger years and then your north node as you grow older however if you are interested in karma then i've made a video all about karma so yeah please be sure to check that out i will put the link to that video somewhere for you all right let's do this north node and sagittarius we're going to start off by first explaining your south node in gemini so where are you coming from so the first thing to be aware of with this placement is that you spent a past life in a position where it was essential for you to understand how others think. You might have been a teacher, a writer, or a salesperson. Though what is interesting to highlight here is that teachers, teachers aren't successful unless they know how to distribute the information in a way in which the student understands. Dance. So you know how in school there are certain teachers that you're really able to click with, right? There's teaching styles you can click with really well, but with other teachers, not so much. That's because a teacher needs to be able to understand the student's thought processes as well, not just for the student to understand the teachers. It works both ways, you see. And that's also why I personally consider myself to be both a teacher and a student in life. Because if you think about it, we are forever teaching others new things through the actions that we make and through the information that we learn. Meaning that we are learning and we are teaching at the same time, whether we are consciously aware of it or not. So the point I'm trying to make here, North Node in Sagittarius, is that in a past life, you had the talent, the impeccable ability of seeing everyone else's point of view. And this right here is what made you a great teacher. But, and this is a big but, in the process, you lost sight of your own truth. Oh yes, North Node in Sag. So busy aiming that arrow at others whilst forgetting where the arrow was being aimed from. And so now, in this life, it's time to connect with your spirituality and rediscover yourself. Who is the one doing the aiming? Who is the one holding the bow and the arrow in their hands? Now, of course, that's not something that's just gonna happen overnight. You know that. In fact, it's a never-ending journey. And that's the point, because self-discovery, it doesn't stop, because essentially, it's not about the destination but rather, it's about the journey itself. It's an exploration that keeps going and going on and on it goes, as new doors open and other doors close. So many possibilities lie ahead. I'm starting to feel like some sort of poet right now, and I don't know it. Now, the amazing thing about you experiencing such a prior life to this one is that now, you have the gift of the gab. You are able to see into the mindset of the other person and keep small talk going for hours, making the other person feel comfortable through an easy exchange of friendly conversation and acceptance. Yet, what can happen is, you might be so aware of the mindset of other people that you can over-translate the other person's ideas in communication. You might think that you need to talk about what the other person is talking about in order for you to feel really understood by them, resulting in you perhaps becoming lost in the conversation, forgetting what you really wanted to say in the first place. Yes, North Node and Sagittarius, what was the point you were trying to make? Say a piece of information comes to you intuitively, 
that's great. But what you do with that information is you edit and you chop and you change it so much that when you communicate it, it wasn't quite simply what you wanted to say. You, you know, you, you might even walk away from that conversation and then just a light bulb goes off and you're like, that's what I should have said. That's the thing. Ah, ah. Therefore, what often can happen is you'll go through this nerve wracking process of second guessing yourself, resulting in possible insecurity. And this is all happening because you are not trusting your intuition. See, in a past life, you were so accustomed to being part of other people's lives and ideas that you lost touch of your own identity. Your identity was so wrapped up with society, which taught you to rely on others. But now, North Node in Sagittarius, it's about you learning to rely on yourself without trying to explain your intuitive abilities. Trusting that you know the answer because it seems that the minute that you apply logic to the intuition, you become even more and more confused. In fact, you might have a difficult time making decisions and this is because you're so used to seeing both sides. And so even though you know what to do, you see the alternative point of view and again, resulting in confusion. This kind of reminds me of my Scorpio friend and she has her North Node in the sign of Sagittarius. She also has her Venus and her Mercury in Sagittarius. She has a Gemini moon as well. Um, and we have known each other since we were 15 years old. We have been on many nights out together and she would go out all the time. She would be the one out of all of us, um, so there would be me, um, obviously my Scorpio friend, there'd be a Libra friend, our Pisces friend and our Virgo friend and it would be without a doubt the Scorpio friend and the Pisces friend, they would go out the most together but it would be mostly my Scorpio friend who would go out overall. She was just quite the party goer growing up and I can't help but feel like she maybe felt like this, feeling as if she would miss a possible opportunity if she didn't go out maybe. Now she doesn't really go out so much now. <laughs> she actually got promoted to a management position in her job which is incredible. The point that I'm trying to make here I guess is well, what I'm trying to really say here is that it was her that was out the most out of all of us and it would be her who would have the most energy to get out there and party and have fun. Basically what might happen is North Node in Sagittarius is someone will ask you to a party perhaps and you know that you've been out for say two nights in a row and you feel a little tired. Now what your intuition is saying to you is I should rest but instead of listening to your intuition you'll go back and forth in your mind about it and you might think yes I know I do want to stay at home and rest but if I don't go, then maybe I'll miss out on something. Maybe there will be this huge opportunity just waiting for me and I'll miss it if I don't go. But then you'll see the other side and you'll say, well, I've been out two nights already and my bank balance is starting to get kind of lower than I thought it would. Then you'll go to the other side and say, I could maybe even ask my friend to lend me some money. And so it just goes on and on like this, back and forth, back and forth, which do you choose, North Node and Sagittarius? Resulting in you not really making a decision in the end or hoping that someone else makes the decision for you, yes. This is just so funny because this would happen to my North Node and Sagittarius friend who I just told you about. My Pisces friend who has and Aries moon and his Mercury in Aries, he will come along and say to her, come on, come on, let's just go, let's just go, I'll pay for you. I'm coming over, I'm coming over. These damn Aries being assertive and pushy when they wanna be. <laughs> but the bottom line here, North Node and Sagittarius, is that you never seem to have enough information to know what the truth is. And more specifically, what your truth is. Therefore, at some point, you must go beyond logic and to your intuition in order to demonstrate what higher truth is telling you. 
and when you have faith in your spiritual guidance, you will actually gain a correct perception of what is occurring around you. See, what you really want is to feel connected with others whilst confidently being yourself. You want to agree with everyone around you and for everyone to understand your point of view. You want others to agree with them and support them and for others to recognize and appreciate your positive motivations. Due to these reasons, you might have the tendency of saying exactly the right words to others in order for them to change their minds and make them agree with you. But in the process, you are met with resistance because it doesn't seem as if these things work for you in this life. Therefore, North Node and Sagittarius, it's not about agreeing and always being on the same page with others, but rather, what is your own truth? What is your higher self wanting to communicate? And how can you stay true and honest to your higher self? And the wonderful thing about it <laughs> is that when you do this, when you act in accordance with your higher truth, others <laughs> who are attuned with your truth will understand you and will be trustworthy friends in your life who really get you, who click with you on a spiritual level, which is what you want, right? Therefore, North Node in Sag, in this life, it's about leaving behind tendencies of indecisiveness, second guessing what others are thinking, saying what others want to hear, gossiping, invalidating your intuitive knowing with logic, wanting immediate answers from others, and trusting other people's perceptions instead of your own. And so with all of this information in mind, where are you headed in this life as we explain your North Node in Sagittarius? And also, what are some steps you can put in place for yourself in order to head in this direction? The first step, North Node in Sagittarius, is to stay focused. I know you're so good at seeing the pros and the cons of everything, but by the time you have thought everything through, you seem to be in a no-win situation anyway. And then when you focus on this loss, right, it makes you feel more and more insecure. Yet, what you really want is to win. And this is why it's so important for you to stay focused rather than second guessing yourself constantly. And the irony of it is that the minute you make a firm decision and you keep focused on that goal you want to achieve, the universe supports you. It nods its head at you gracefully and says, yes, I will support you. And I know that this is not an easy task, especially as you're probably so used to bouncing back and forth between options. You'll reach out to your family and your friends asking for their advice and opinions. But it's really about you trusting that the universe has got your back. That when you take the next step towards your dreams, that you let go of the previous one. Try taking a leaf out of Alan Watt's book and he actually had a Sagittarius rising. And it was Alan Watts that said, nothing is more creative than death, since it has the whole secret of life. It means that the past must be abandoned, that the unknown cannot be avoided, that I cannot continue, and that nothing can be ultimately fixed. When a man knows this, he lives for the first time in his life. By holding his breath, he loses it. By letting go, he finds it. Meaning, North Node and Sag, that by letting go and by trusting in the universe, by having faith in your truth, you find your inner truth. And when it comes to these moments of indecision where you have a tough time saying no 
because you hit the possibility of missing a potential opportunity for anything. You should really be more honest about your decisions and choices. So say a friend does ask you to go out and you've been out two nights in a row, just be upfront about it and say, hey, thank you for the offer. It sounds amazing, sounds like it would be great. I love our nights out. But this one, I'm gonna sit this one out. I've been out twice this week already. Hey, but maybe we can go out in a few weeks, yeah? Is that cool? Yeah, yeah. In fact, you might actually be surprised as how easily other people will accept your decision without the need for justification. Well, if they're a good friend, they will. Maybe that's how you'll know who is a true friend or who isn't, right? And if you do feel pushed or pressed by a person for speaking your truth, just say, this is how I feel. And I don't have to give you an explanation for it. And this is something I want to touch on quickly here, because this happens all the time, doesn't it? Where we feel as if we have to justify our choices to others. I know that I've certainly felt this way before, and I'm sure a lot of you can agree. In fact, what I've done before is I've made an excuse for why I can't attend a particular event rather than just being honest about it. I've said I've been sick in the past, which wasn't true. And I think to myself, why not just say I don't feel like it? Let me actually know in the comment section if you've done this before. It would be, it would be interesting to know. But truly, North Node in Sagittarius, it is much better to be open and honest about how you feel or about a particular situation rather than doing things that you really don't want to do simply because you can't think of a good excuse to decline. And naturally, as well, it's better than lying. And in this incarnation, telling white lies is something you should really avoid. It's understanding that your strength, your gift in this incarnation is truth. When you honestly share your point of view, others respect what you have to say. Another thing here is that in this life, you are positive and cheerful and outgoing. You're so full of enthusiasm as you form happy and lighthearted connections with others. You have this natural optimism about you that is willing to work hard to get the results that you feel await you. And even if your thoughts are giving you negative messages, you still act so positive. <laughs> This also reminds me of my Scorpio friend and she's just so bubbly and positive and chatty. Like I said, she also has a Gemini moon and plenty of Sagittarius energy in her chart. She just exuberates all of these qualities um, and you know, it makes it really fun to be around her. So sure, yeah, Sagittarius, Northern Sagittarius, you might talk about your fears but you still follow optimism in your behavior. You know good things will happen for you if you do your part. Like I said, if you remain focused. I mean, the fact that my friend is now in a management position, she's buzzing about it. <laughs> it makes her feel really happy. Indeed, North Node and Sag, you possess a feeling that you're going to make it. And this attitude is what supports your cheerful disposition. Sure, you see all the things that could go wrong, but you move forward to do it anyway. You take the risk. So you can see here how the South Node in Gemini and the North Node in Sagittarius are really balancing, balancing out nicely. <laughs> but still, if you become too negative, it's from overthinking. So if this happens, please, Please turn things over to your higher self and trust in it. Trust that you're on the right path. And as you relax your mind, your natural faith in positive outcomes will pull through. Overall, North Node in Sagittarius, in this life, you are learning to speak the words you intuitively feel. And when you do this, Situations in which you experience will come into harmony. 
when you live and speak from your higher self, companions who are not suitable will withdraw and new people appear who are more on the same wavelength as you. People who really get you and appreciate what your truth is. And sure, they don't have to agree with everything you say and you don't have to agree with everything they say either, but there will be mutual understanding between you and them because it will be a spiritual connection that you both share with one another. It's about trusting yourself to communicate directly, free from censorship. It's about intuitively listening and hearing the meaning behind the words that other people say and relying on your intuition. It's developing a sense of freedom and adventure and most importantly, it's about speaking from a higher state of consciousness. Okay guys, so that concludes my video on the North Node in Sagittarius. If you do happen to have your North Node in the sign of Sagittarius, then please be sure to let us know in the comment section even where your North Node in Sag is placed, like which house it's in there. And I do hope that you're able to benefit from this video, of course. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing as always. And if you'd like to see more videos from myself, then please be sure to click the subscribe button. And I will be back with another video. We're going the opposite way, by the way, because we've done the first six signs. So you know what that means. We're going boom, back the way. Yeah. Uh, I will be back with another video very, very soon. Bye!